7 o'clock. Another 27 hours of Christmas to go. I don't think I'm going to survive it. I'll have to blank out in front of the telly. You hold that finger right there, young man. No-one in this house watches the telly until the Queen's speech. But it's Noel's Christmas family video accidents. <laughs> I don't care. We're English here. We're going to do Christmas properly, all right? Well, unless there's a bond form on, obviously. <laughs> Keep it Christmassy. Right now, look, there's only five hours till lunch. I've got to get my sprouts on. Don't want them all crunchy. <laughs> Not sprouts! I hate sprouts. Oh, will you stop whinging, Eddie? Nobody likes sprouts. <laughs> then why are we having them then? Because it's Christmas! <laughs> now look, we've got guests coming, remember? So I better get on with my turkey. What are you going to do with it? Well, it's a season of goodwill and peace on earth, so I thought I'd chop both its feet off, rip out its innards, strip it, shove an onion up its ass, and bung it in a very hot place for four hours until it's completely burnt. Fair enough. Right, now lend a hand, Eddie, and peel the potatoes. We've got four people coming, so that means... Four potatoes. Right. <laughs> do you really want me to peel them? I mean... You're only going to incinerate them, aren't you? Why don't we just bang them straight in the bin? Oh, all right, I'll do all the cooking. <laughs> so long as you do all the decorations. Now, Eddie, crackers? Yes. <laughs> it's never stopped me so far. <laughs> no, I mean, have you got the crackers? No, it's just the way my trousers hang. <laughs> Eddie, enough of the crackers jokes. Right, I'm talking yeah. about the things you put in your hand and pull. <laughs> I've got one of those, but I'm not going to stick it on the table. <laughs> Eddie, you are funnier than Jonathan Ross. <laughs> but he's not funny. Exactly. <laughs> now, get out of my kitchen before I twat you. <laughs> not fast enough. Fair enough. Point taken. Right, now, Eddie, you scrape all the congeal bits off the cutlery and lay the table. All right? I'll get on with the brandy butter. Where's the brandy? <laughs> uh, <gasps> <laughs> well, that's just effing marvellous, isn't it? Oh! Hold your horses, Richie, don't panic, because... <laughs> Vodka margarine! <laughs> That's brilliant, Eddie. Are you sure it's flammable? Well, I anticipated your concern, so I spiced it up with a couple of cans of hairspray. <laughs> that is brilliant! Well done. That's sorted. Right, now, table placings. Uh, I thought I'd put you next to Spud Gun, right? Cos you're yeah. both, uh, well, sort of... Well, uh, you know, aren't you? <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Did you get the four quid off them each for the meal? Yes, I did. Great. Where is it? I spent it on the brandy. <laughs> oh, I despair. I really do. And look, it's half past eight! Half past eight! <laughs> and all's crap! <laughs> got to get into my kitchen. Here's a can of spray snow. You make everything look all Christmassy. I'll go and scrub my sprats. <laughs> I thought you were going to do some cooking. <laughs> Fair enough. Point taken. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Eddie. <laughs> when it comes down to it, there's only me and Keith Floyd left. Nick, isn't it? <laughs> Why don't you call for the ambulance? Well, I haven't got anything to bloody well dial with now. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Who can that be? Oh. They haven't started collecting on Christmas Day, have they? Sort off, you do-gooding bastards! <laughs> and kick him down the stairs. <laughs> I mean, if he's too drunk to talk, he won't put up much of a fight, will he? <laughs> Go on! Enjoy yourself! It's Christmas! <laughs> Guys? It's a baby. <laughs> what? I've got a baby. 
We don't want a baby. Get rid of it. <laughs> We're happy as we are. <laughs> Why spoil everything? <laughs> we'll drift apart. I mean, he's bound to come between us. Well, I think that it's come between us already. <gasps> come on, Eddie. It's time we faced up to our responsibilities. We can't carry on being playboys all our lives. Besides, it's a fact now. We have to deal with it. Why couldn't you be more careful? <laughs> Poor little Mike. What a way to spend your first Christmas. What, lying on your back with a bottle in your mouth? It sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> oh, don't cry, little matey. I think he likes me. Poor little blighter. It's your first Christmas. No family. No friends. No Christmas presents. Well, he's got us now. We'll look after him. Yeah. He can have my Christmas present. It's a box of Terry's all gold. We'll have to wait for his little teeth to come through before he can manage the cheery ones. Aww. Yeah, look. He can have my Frankenstein mask. I was going to scare the shit out of Richie with later. <laughs> <laughs> and you can have my bottle of aftershave. It's a new one. It's called... Grr. <laughs> Gold? Frankenstein? And girl. <laughs> and you're all wearing crowns. <laughs> and I'm a virgin. I thought you said you weren't. No, I know, but I am really. I was fibbing to look hunky. Um... <laughs> Didn't work, did it? No, no, but enough of that. All right. Guys, if I was you, I'd stay on my knees. This is it. This is the second coming. What? Oh, look. The three kings. Gold, Frankenstein and Gurr. The virgin birth. And look. A blue headscarf. I mean, that really tops it off. It's all slotting into place. I knew I was special. I always knew I was different from the other people. <laughs> That's why I never got a shag! <laughs> I was being kept pure because I'm better than everyone else in the whole world. <laughs> oh, I had a few pretty narrow squeaks, though. <laughs> oh, yes. No, I didn't really. I'm lying to myself. <laughs>